Okay, my name is Greta Hildebrand. Uh, I live in Niagara, uh, the uh, province of Ontario. So uh, this afternoon, I'm going to share a little bit about uh, my work and uh, the process that's involved. So I'm going to screen share now. The quilt that I've entered into Crossroads is titled Corona, a Premonition, March the 13th, 2020. It's a needle felted quilt and it's by Greta Hildebrand. So here you can see a, a photograph in the top left hand side, the original photograph taken on March the 13th as I was descending the Niagara Escarpment in Ontario. It's overlooking Toronto. And it was a, a shot that it took my, uh, grabbed my attention uh, the light and the cloud formation. And it was the date in particular too, um, that was quite significant. I, I was part of organizing the International Studio Art Quilt Associations Conference, which was then canceled. Businesses in Ontario began to close and social distancing um, was enacted. And it was the beginning of what we now know as our corona pandemic. The image processed through my mind for some time before I decided just how I was going to work with it. I put it through Adobe Photoshop to enhance the color and the light. And I simplified the composition so that it would uh, not have the amount of clutter that is in the foreground, all the uh, telephone poles, and uh, there's a farmhouse here as well. That was all um, taken out. And it was a larger than life image. So starting with the process now, uh, I looked for something appropriate as my backing. And what I found was a 60 by 40 inch throw. It was something that I had bought at Ikea um, some years before and wasn't using anymore. And I thought, well, I'll give that a go because uh, I didn't have anything larger than that. And with needle felting, I needed some kind of a sponge backing. Um, so I found three cushions and they became my working surface all put end on end. The fibers that I chose were wool, silk, plant, and animal. And uh, you'll see as, as I go through the slides just how those all uh, come into play. The work, as I said, was divided into three sections. Uh, here we're starting with the background. Uh, cloud formations are something that I've been studying for some time now. Uh, the cumulonimbus are the swirling clouds uh, that you can see here way at the top. They become part of the corona symbolism. And then the stratocumulus, which are the more distant striated cloud formation down towards the horizon. So here I'm beginning the needle uh, felting process itself that uh, is really um, a punching process. It, it pushes the fibers right through the, uh, the base, which was my Ikea throw, and they're caught on the back. And each time you pull out, you push down again and more fibers go through. So it's a, a continual process. In the midground, um, the most significant uh, part of that was the skyline of Toronto. And uh, as I had mentioned earlier, I was uh, involved in the uh, SACA or the Studio Art Quilt Associations Conference, which was to be held there. So that was really something foremost in my mind. So you can see it up here. And in the photograph, uh, I, wanted that, I wanted that part of the photograph to be as realistic as possible. The rest I um, manipulated in some way. So I put it through uh, my publisher program um, and uh, had that printed out so it was exactly to scale. And then I used that as a, a pattern. I needle felted a strip of felt that became the actual fabric. And you can see it here in my hands. And, and then after that is cut away, uh, it's laid down onto the quilt itself and needle punched into place and then details brought up 
as I move along. So it's it's simplified a little bit as well. You can see part of the Sky Dome, which is also known now as the Rogers Center and the CN Tower, a significant part of the Toronto uh, skyline. So now we're going to move on to the uh, foreground, which is uh, a quite a detailed area. Uh, Niagara, as you might know, is uh, known for its uh, wineries and uh, the vineyards here. So the significance of the crossroads comes into play as we see a crossroad that goes into the vineyard, which is quite dormant at this time of year in March. Uh, nothing really has come to life. And uh, I'm using hand spun yarns. In my former days, I was a hand spinner. So the fibers are something that I, I just naturally gravitate towards using. Here you can see a little bit of that throw that's uh, the backing. And I'm working over that. Um, the road I'm working up and the edges of it here. You can see how the uh, hand spun yarns are being used. They're needle punched uh, just with a single needle into place. Whereas I'm using the, uh, if I go back here, you can see in all this area, um, I'm using uh, my multiple headed um, tool, which has five needles. So once uh, the quilt is all um, laid out now with fibers and I'm going over it again and working up the details and the textures. And you can see here, in the cloud formations, I'm building up silk uh, to try and get more sheen and the light coming through. Uh, the darkness here, of course, of course, is at the bottom of the cloud formation, which is part of the whole Corona concept um, happening. And it's stitched through to a backing. Um, so it becomes a quilt at this stage, more so than just a needle felted piece of artwork and that holds it in place. It also starts to give it a little bit more dimension. Here we have 17th Street, Street, which is the street I'm descending. It goes all the way down to Lakeshore if you continue on, and that uh, takes on the circumference on the Canadian side all the way around to Toronto. So here we have the concept of the crossroads and here the dormant uh, road going into the uh, the vineyard or the, the dormant vineyard. On the reverse, I'm using um, a leftover uh, cotton bed protector as an added piece of stabilizer. So now it's got not only the backing, but it's got a second one as well. And that's the way I, I tend to work. I have several layers um, and they give the, the whole thing stability. So now we're nearing completion. I've decided I'm just going to turn the edges under um, so it's got a clean finish. And then the whole photography process, it's a large piece, um, now measuring 45 by 58 inches. So um, the photography process, um, I'm, I use uh, insulation boards, which you can stick uh, sewing pins right into and that um, then you can get your right angles perfect and you can align everything so it's it's a, a nice way of working your photography and of course I've got studio or lighting there to help me. I submitted this to the Grand National um, and I now title it Corona a Premonition March the 13th 2020 and it was accepted. So this is the statement uh, that goes with my work uh, for Southern Ontario, March the 13th, 2020 signifies the end to large gatherings, closure of non-essential services and isolation. My needle felted artwork is based on a photograph which I took on that symbolic day, this premonitory view of a Corona cloud formation above 17th Street, descending the Niagara Escarpment over Lake Ontario, and distant Toronto also captures a physical crossroad leading into an unawakened vineyard. 17th Street itself leads to Old Lakeshore Road, which runs the circumference of Lake Ontario on the Canadian side. The work is a metaphorical crossroad intersecting the normal and the pandemic. And then just a little bit about myself. Um, 
that I was born and uh, raised in the Fiji Islands and then went to school in New Zealand. And um, my career in, in Canada, I, I went on um, to get my master's in education and that together with my travels uh, prompts me to create and share many perspectives and uh, the environment is particularly of interest to me. So there you have it, a little bit of uh, how uh, my quilt was put together. Thank you for listening. <laughs>